Monday is the big day, the total solar eclipse in Arkansas, the zone of totality from southwest into west central, central, north central, and then northeast Arkansas. There's going to be a wide swath that sees four minutes in totality just outside of that zone, three minutes and then two minutes, and Little Rock falls right in line for two minutes. Let's go section by section of the state. Some select times in totality. Dequeen right along that center line over four minutes. Same with Lake Washita, closer to the edge, place like Hope just under two minutes. Arkadelphia right at two minutes. Over into West Arkansas, places like Danville, Mount Ida, Pettyjean, where we will be on Monday over four minutes and then closer to the metro area, the further west into Pulaski County or the further north you go, like into Faulkner County, the more time in totality you will have. Right down towards Little Rock, it's two minutes and 20 seconds. Up towards Clinton, four minutes and 15 seconds. Very close to that and over four minutes in Heber Springs and in Mountain View as well. And then over into the northeast part of the state, there's a lot, a, lot, a lot of spots with over four minutes in totality. Closer to the edge of totality, it's less time. Jonesboro, two minutes and 21 seconds. Augusta, a minute and 40 seconds. Being in the zone of totality and out of the zone of totality is a huge difference. Look at this. Fort Smith at 99.75%. You still have sun rays getting through, and it would still be very dangerous to look at the sun. You would have to do this with eclipse glasses because it's still even a tiny percentage of sunshine is still sunshine. At a place like Little Rock or anywhere else in the zone of totality, that's where you get the halo effect on the sun. That's where you will have that view in a darkened area, a darkened sky, and a sunset on the horizon. It'd be really, really cool. So if you can, get in the zone of totality. How's the forecast looking? Well, we're going to see clouds clear out for early Monday, and then as we get into Monday afternoon, these percentages represent percentage of the sky that is covered. As we get into Monday afternoon, clouds are going to be increasing from south to north along the path of totality. I think the area of the state that's got the best chance to see a lot of cloud cover is down into southwest Arkansas, but over into central, west central, and north Arkansas, I think there will be some clouds for sure, but there will be breaks in those clouds. Maybe a good chance that you will still be able to see the eclipse even with this forecast. This forecast includes warm temperatures as well, 78 degrees at Little Rock. At 145, the temperature will drop a little bit. I think being outside, we have good forecast numbers for you. We'll continue to update the cloud cover forecast. There's going to be some clouds, but I don't think it ruins the event. Make plans to step outside on Monday, April the 8th.